Fox weather is your winter storm HQ. Guess what? We have a multi-day atmospheric river event that's going to slam the west. It is going to bring widespread impacts, blizzard conditions, tough drives up and down the mountain, and an extreme flash flood threat, which is very rare for parts of the west coast. So that's a look at Olympia, Washington. Overnight hours, so soggy and soaked. We just got rain moving through and, of course, snow in the higher elevations. So let's talk about the flood threat. It's there today for Northern California, but today is kind of the in-between day. We've had a lot of intense weather already. I'll give you that. We had a tornado in Oregon last week. We had rain yesterday, snow as well. And now it's going to really pick up on Wednesday and Thursday. We have a powerful storm that we're tracking off in the north Pacific that's going to be moving through and we have an extreme risk for flash flooding on Thursday to have this aggressive of a heads up three days out is a big deal that would be a big deal anywhere in the United States so big heads up uh, for Northern California the amount of rain that we're expecting close to Eureka uh, that's going to be something to really take note as we go into Thursday so here's a look at the jet stream big old dip here as we're tracking our powerful area of low pressure that's going to be moving through and this area of low pressure is going to bomb out we're coming off of hurricane season so let's use that as sort of our benchmark so everybody can understand the process a lot of people are familiar with rapid intensification right we talk about all the way through hurricane season so many storms that do that. Well, bomb out is the non-tropical version of that. So these areas of low pressure, they deepen dramatically and they produce a huge punch because the lower the pressure, the more explosive the weather product. Absolutely. And it's not just that. It's also the fact that the winds with this is going to be really intense right along the immediate shoreline of the North, the Pacific Northwest. We're talking 50 to 70 mile per hour winds. And look at all that rain. Here's something that's kind of interesting, Britta. One atmospheric river, as you know, can contain as much moisture as 20 Mississippi rivers. And so that's a ton of water that's then fueled up the mountains, and we're talking lots of snow, too. And the spigot's right on Northern California, so that's why they have the most uh, aggressive flood outlook for Northern California, because when you look at this, all of that deep moisture is going right into Northern California, so they're having to deal with that threat day after day. Rain total south of Eureka could easily exceed a foot more than a foot of rain. So we are expecting some flood issues. This will also lead to river flooding.